Okay, we are joined by the Adeline Christian Wildcats, head coach Brett Tanner, student athletes Tobias Cameron, Aaron Simmons. Uh, coach, if you can get us started with your general thoughts on tonight's game. Yeah, I'm just I'm super proud of these guys, man. We, we talked at halftime about, you know, we didn't score enough points off our defense. And, and, and anybody who watches ACU basketball knows that our best offense is our defense. And so uh, we talked a lot about how, you know, we can be better. Uh, we can be more aggressive, and, and we can't be afraid to take chances defensively. And I thought these guys in the second half went out there and did that. You know, uh, I know we could talk about some made threes and some different things like that, but that all comes off of our defense, man, um, because the energy that we provide. You know, and, and we stepped in there. I don't know how many charges we took tonight, um, but those guys stepped in there. They, they put their bodies on the line. Um, that's ACU basketball. And I thought in the first half. We were a little timid. You know, I think that comes. You know, we always think anytime you come off of a bye, you talk about how you have to kind of survive that first to that second media because they, they're not going to have any nerves. They had played the day before. You know, we're going to have to fight through those nerves and stuff. And, and I think there was some of that tonight. But we helped, we stayed in there. A big part of that in the first half was this guy to my right right here. He played great in the first half. Um, and in the second half, man, we just got, we got out there. We played off our defense. Um, scored. I mean, we ended up scoring 24 points off turnovers, uh, which is, is, is ACU basketball. It's what we do. Okay, we will open up for questions. Please raise your hand if you'd like to ask one. All right, we'll go Kyle first. Brett, talk about the two. That's fine. You're loud enough. Uh, talk about the two guys to your, to your right. I mean, Tobias had a big first half, and then Aaron put, basically put you guys on his back down the final stretch. Just talk about their, their play tonight. Well, Arion can carry a lot of weight, man. Just look at him. You know what I mean? Uh, he's done that a lot this year, man. Uh, but I, I do. I think it was Taylor two hours. I think bias kept us in the game. There's no question. I mean, the game was – we were in danger of that game kind of getting out of hand uh, in the wrong direction. And, and I thought Tobias just made play after play after play. It's not just – I mean, I, I remember the first half, I think it was – you know, he, I don't know, he missed two shots or something like that. And, but it wasn't really about that. It was about everything else that he does for us, you know. Bias is our energy guy. Um, we, we had talked about maybe starting bigger and doing all that. And, and I just that was me getting in my head. And, and I told my staff, man, Bias is our energy. Like, we're starting to bias tonight. You know, this is all or nothing, you know. It's win or go home. And so um, I thought Bias did a great job in the first half, man. That, but, again, that's I would expect nothing else. It's what he does. And, uh, and he made plays in the second half, too, of course. And then Arion Simmons, man, um, you know, I just, I just told the, the TV out there, you know, every, he took every shot that I didn't want him to take. Um, but he does that every game, too. And uh, somehow he finds a way to make them. You know, I, I think every shot he took, I was like, what are you doing? And, uh, but it goes in. And that, that's, what, that's the beauty of A. Uh, but I love him. I trust him. Uh, both these guys have logged a lot of minutes for us. And um, I, there's no way I was taking them off the floor. I was going to use timeouts. You know, Ariane was asking for a sub, and I told him there's no way uh, you're going to finish this game. So I'm proud of both of them. Ariane, this one's for you. I think you scored like 11 points in three minutes from that five-minute mark to the two-minute mark. Just talk to me what's going through your mind in those two, three minutes. Uh, first half, I was down on myself uh, in the halftime in the locker room. Guys were just hyping me up, telling me to uh, just keep playing. So that's what I did, just go out there and make a big shot. Tobias, talk about that first half. You're, you're a little undersized playing against AMAC and Tim Fuller and those guys, but yet you were on attack mode, it seemed like, that entire first half. Uh, that's just um, my boys, uh, teammates and coaches telling me to be aggressive. So, I mean, I'm on the court for a reason, and so I'm just going to try and do what I can. So, yeah. We'll go Kyle, and then we'll go back. Brett, talk about uh, – it was kind of like shades of the game in Orem. Your big guys kind of – I think they hit between Arion and, and, and Cam. They hit six three pointers, I believe, combined. I mean, it's just they combined for over thirty points in Orem. They combined for over thirty points tonight. Just talk about was that kind of the game plan, or is that just how the game flow went? Because you knew how to beat them before. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not sure if we knew how to beat them. I, I was scared to death, you know, with their size, just like I was the first time we played them. But you know, the big thing is, I think we can use our size to our advantage, and we've done that all year. I think you know, I've, I've said it before. We're the, I mean. Statistically, I think we are the smallest team in the country, uh, but that, that's our advantage. You know, that's why we fly around defensively and do things. But um, and, you know, and Cam's getting lost in the shuffle right here. I mean, the dude's. I mean, you know, he he, he shoots the ball well. I mean, I, what, what did he shoot tonight? Where is he at? I can't even see. He's five for seven, three for five from the three. I mean, that's when he when he does that, we're pretty hard to beat. You know, mm -hmm. um, and he did the same thing when we we played Norum. But we thought we could kind of pull. 
pull Amac out a little bit with these guys, you know, um, and then just kind of make make him come out and guard us. And if he was going to guard us, then we were going to drive him. And if not, we were going to have to step up and hit some shots. And 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 they both did that. Um, and I'm, I'm Cameron plays when he plays with confidence, man. He's he's an elite shooter, and uh, and he showed that tonight. But definitely, uh, that was part of our a part of our game plan for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's. I tell these guys we haven't made a three since we played in Orem, you know. But um, you know, they we knew we were gonna have to shoot the ball. We we know that, right? I mean, if, if to, the way they the way they defend and, and the way they play, we're gonna have to hit some perimeter shots. And uh, we have guys that can that can they're playmakers. You know what I mean? Like, um, if if the game is on the line, if we need a big shot. Arion's going to hit a shot, you know. Corian Mason's going to get a shot. Uh, you know, Tobias Cameron's going to take a charge. You know, Emmanuel Al's, I mean, we have guys that make big plays. Now, we, I think the one thing that benefits us is that every single game we have played this year, with the exception of one, has been like a one, two possession game. We've had some crazy, crazy nutty games this year. And so we've had that experience, you know what I mean? So our guys aren't panicking, you know, in a one or two possession game. If we're down three with five minutes to go, we're gonna win the game, you know. I mean, that's 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 their mindset, and so um, that's that's the biggest thing I think is just that we've we've played in some of those games before, and it, it gives us some confidence, you know. Well, we just played them, you know, and, and so we've had uh, some some knockdown, drag out, street fights with these guys. It, it's been that way for years, um, and so I wouldn't expect anything different tomorrow. Um, we know, I mean, they're good. There's, there's no pressure on us. Uh, I mean, you know, um, but we also believe that we can beat anybody in this tournament. Uh, I mean, we really do. I mean, um, and so we're going to show up tomorrow. We don't, we don't have to really cover a whole lot on SFA because we just played them. Uh, we know them very well. We're very similar in styles of play. Um, they're bigger, you know, but who isn't? Um, and so we're excited uh, to get to play them. We, we don't care who we play, man. We're just, we're just glad to be playing on Thursday for sure. All right, we have one last question from uh, Zoom here from Evan Nemec at uh, KTXS. Uh, for Brett, what was the challenge like trying to game plan Utah Valley when they get Trey Woodbury back last night for the first time this season? Yeah. Um, no, sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead. It, it was, uh, I was kind of shocked, man, when I, when I walked in the gym and I, I looked at my staff and I said, man, why didn't anybody tell me he was playing? They looked at me like I didn't know he was, you know, no, nobody knew he was going to play. And so, um, but we didn't change anything. You know, uh, we, just, we, just, we just stuck to our game plan. You know, we, we don't worry too much about what our opponent does. We, we try to figure out how we can score on guys. Um, we don't focus too much on how to stop guys because we're, we're going to play ACU defense. It is what it is, you know. And so, um, but I, I thought, you know, bottom line, we couldn't let him get loose for some threes, and we did let him get loose for a couple because uh, we know he's a really good player. But um, we just didn't change anything. We just stuck to, stuck to who we are. Okay, gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Good luck tomorrow. Thank right. you, guys. Thank you.